Wrestling. It's a night of firsts on Spike TV. A two-hour primetime TNA special featuring the incredibly innovative high-risk, high-wire Ultimate X. Who's going to hang on here? And if you hang on, can you tear down the end? He caught him with a low blow. Oh, there that's so. Oh, that's it. He's got a lot of in his hand. He did it. And Petey Williams now gets a shot against the X Division champion, AJ Styles. It's time for the main event of the evening. Rhino defends the NWA world title against Jeff Jarrett. No! 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 Damn it! AMW's fingerprints, they're all over this! Jeff Jarrett, he's not only regained the NWA world title, they've also regained the power and the control. of our Genesis pay-per-view. It's the Canadian Destroyer versus the Styles Clash Challenge. It's Petey Williams versus AJ Styles. Plus, Jeff Jarrett and America's Most Wanted face Lance Hoyt, Chris Saban, and Jeff Hardy in six-man tag team action. Impact, your 60-minute adrenaline rush is next.
Super Bowl rings, you certainly whine and complain a lot, don't you? In fact, if I didn't know better, I'd swear I was listening to Raven. But in the, in the interest of fairness, I will give you your due respect, Monty Brown. You are a world-class athlete, and you are one of the very few elite deserving of an NWA World Heavyweight title shot. But Monty Brown, you listen to me, and you listen good. There is one, one man more deserving of a world title shot than you. And that's the six foot eight, 350 pound weapon of mass destruction, the monster abyss. Go show him abyss. Here's the stare down, the face off between the monster abyss and the alpha male, Bonnie Brown. Well, wait a minute. The person that's going to be facing Bonnie Brown at Genesis, Jeb Hardy is coming out and he's probably got something to say about who's the next contender. Did you see that body language? Did you see the motion from the charismatic Enigma? I think Jeff Hardy, he feels like he should be in the title picture as well. I'll tell you what, I don't think I've ever seen the heavyweight championship in such disarray. Raven had it, Jarrett got it, Ryan O got it, and you see the brawl taking over his body right in the abyss, not letting Jeff Hardy get anything started in the ring. Well, you're right, the second that Hardy hit the ring, Monty Brown and the Monster Abyss were there with the double team. But now Hardy fights back and look at him take it to both of these men. I'll tell you what, he's just throwing blow after blow right there. Oh, he goes right at him. Oh, what a boot right there by Abyss, and here comes Monty Brown. Look at this. Are they going to work together? That's, I didn't realize Abyss could work with anybody. Overhead, release, follow away, slam on Hardy, and here we go. Here goes the monster and the alpha man. Well, you knew it wouldn't last. There's, there's only one title, so there's nobody going to work together to get it. Wait a minute, Jeff Hardy going up to the top, and he hit the ball. What a drop kick. How about that dual drop kick? One leg for the alpha male, one for the monster abyss, and check this out. Security hits the ring to separate them. Oh, they've got to get order restored right here. It's AJ Style Clash against P.D. Williams and the Canadian Destroyer. Plus, Jeff Jarrett and America's Most Wanted in six-man tag team action. The Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels and Alex Shelley. What a three-man team this is. 280 pounds of a brick wall from Samoa. The blind tag was made from the apron by his partner. Samoa Joe returns the favor. He said, prove yourself. Finish him off. Communication problems.
eliminated. Fallen Angel, he will be joined not only by Samoa Joe, but also Alex Shelley and Roderick Strong against the team of Chris Sabin, Sanjay Dunn, Matt Bentley, and the aforementioned Austin Aries. That's true. Now, let me say, as the team captain of the ministry, the name I like to call my team, I'm proud to lead my men in the battle against such fun competitors oh. as Bentley and Aries and Sanjay Dutch and Chris Sabin. But with this man in my corner, Samoa Joe, I have no doubt that the ministry will win Elimination X at Genesis. He definitely seems like he's going to be the power of that team, but I got to be honest with you, can you and Samoa Joe coexist peacefully out there? Yeah, think about those communication problems that you had on our recent primetime special right here on Spike TV. That's just a little bit of miscommunication between Joe and I when Joe realizes that I'm the man with the experience, that I the, I, I'm the man that should be driving the boat. As soon as he realizes that, I think we're all going to be uh, we're all going to be 100% copacetic. Yeah, let me ask you about this captain of the ministry team. Is that a self-proclaimed title, much like you naming yourself Mr. TNA, or is the captaincy something that was decided on by your tag team partner? Well, it just makes sense with a man with 12 years in the business. Of course, he should be the leader of a team of this type of talent. Samoa Joe, he's going to be the strength of the team, being the unbeatable. Badass that he is, of course he's going to be the powerhouse, but he definitely shouldn't be the leader. He shouldn't be the mind of the team. That role falls to the fallen angel, Christopher Dan. I mean, just think about this. This tomorrow night on the Genesis pay-per-view, you are going to see the X Division at its best. When you look at the great talent like Austin Aries and Samoa Joe out there, what a shot by Samoa Joe. I mean, I'm even going to ask you, Christopher Daniels, have you ever seen the X Division with so much talent? As it has right now here at DNA. Well, we've been heating up ever since we got onto Spike TV. Everybody's been trying to get into the X Division. They know that that's the division that defined DNA, and they know that Mr. TNA, the fallen angel Christopher Daniels, is the leader of that X Division. Everybody wants to be a part of it. The follow up move to the Centon Splash from this 280 pounder was that reverse chin lock. Then the shot to the head, close to the close. Look at this, Harry's. Now moves like that, that's certainly going to be on the other teams of, uh, they're in their favor with if Austin were to hit that in Elimination X. But I'm counting on guys like Samoa Joe, I'm counting on his power to be able to offset fast moves like that. Attempt at a suplex here by Austin Aries, how wise is that? I don't know what he can make at this point, but I'll tell you what, one thing about Austin Aries, he's got fire, he's got fire. Oh, and backfire on him now. He got a little excited. He hit that crucifix bomb. He thought everything was going his way. Then he tried to muscle Joe up. Oh, no! Speaking of muscle, muscle you're muscle not muscle buster! And the follow-up to the muscle buster is the rear naked choke. The Kakina clutch submission is yet another victim. And, and it's going to be moves like that that's going to win the day for the ministry. The winner of the match, the undefeated Samoa Joe! which he breaks Aries down, and then right into the Totina clutch. There you see it, the submission hold applied. Samoa Joe remains unbeaten, and check this out, a stare down between the two men who will be tag team partners tomorrow night at Genesis. Yet to come on impact, it's Styles versus Williams, it's the Clash versus the Destroyer, plus Jeff Jarrett, and America's Most Wanted, meet Lance Hoyt, Chris Saban, and Jeff Hardy in six-man tag action. You requested me and my crew to meet you here in Larry Zabisco's office. What gives? Hey, Larry, seeing as you were so gracious to grant Petey Williams his special challenge with AJ Styles tonight, finisher versus finisher, to prove once and for all that there's not a single move that's in the League of the Canadian Destroyer, well, in return, I'm here to do something for you. You know, we got Genesis tomorrow night, and it's a big day for this company. And, you know, you made that match with Team Canada and 3 Life Crew, and I love it, Larry. That's why I knew you were the man for the job, because you make the decisions. Well, I got an idea for you, little Larry. Hey, 
Let's spruce this thing up. Let's really jazz it up. Let's Canadianize this thing a little bit. Let's put a pole on top of every corner post. And on top of that pole, let's put a hockey stick. And if a man can climb up that pole and grab that hockey stick, it's legal. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute. Scott, Scott, you're talking about a lot of violence here. Violence Absolutely. may be good in hockey. This is professional wrestling. These guys are getting hurt left oh, and right. Man. You can kill some of these guys, man. Hey, Larry, it's up to you. I'm just trying to help you out. I was just thinking about the buy rate. Buy rate? Through the roof. All right, we'll put the hockey poles in. I put the hockey poles. I like, you know, we'll even make it bigger. We'll take this over the top. We'll make Kip James the what? special referee. What? Good idea, coach. No. I got this done. I didn't. Larry, I'm going to get Kip on the phone. Looks like you got a little more than you bargained for. <laughs> for one fall already in the weight ring from Tampa, Florida. This is Lex Lovin. And introducing his opponent. committee member, living legend Larry Zabisco. I think he's surprised the Team Canada coach Scott Damore with the pronouncement that tomorrow at Genesis, Kip James will be the special referee for what is going to turn out to be a six-man, six-sided stick fight. Well, I think it's going to be great to see somebody give Team Canada what they've been dishing out on everybody else, and that's the other end of the hockey stick coming their way. And how's it going to work out here, Mike? We're going to have all the hockey sticks on the six-sided ring on a pole on each side. If you get up and get it, it's a weapon and you can use it. And at the same time, yes, Kip James, the referee, I think he's going to keep an eye on that big load at ringside. The team handed a coach, Scott Demore. Oh, you better believe it. And I'll tell you what, two are going to find out just exactly what Kip James is all about. If you see Lex Lovett, give him a nice drop kick right there. It really has been a series of firsts for TNA Wrestling on Spike. That great primetime special. And tonight on this Impact broadcast, how about this for a first? You will see AJ Styles against Petey Williams. It's the same matchup that you'll see tomorrow in Genesis. Tomorrow, it's for the X Division title. Tonight on Impact, it's Canadian Destroyer versus Styles Clash. Hit your move, win the match. Don't even have to get the pin. All you gotta do. It'll be a great little test to see what's going to happen in Genesis, but Kip James, wow, just dominated that shot right there. Oh, wait a minute, Kip James. It's tomorrow when Kip James will be the special referee for three left crew against Team Canada, and here come the Canadians, Bobby Roode, joined by A1 and Showtime, Aaron Young. Well, I'll tell you what, you mentioned it tomorrow night on Genesis. We're going to find out how loyal Kip James really is. He seems to want to be on the side of BT James rather than... Wait a minute! Here comes BT! Here comes the crew! Oh, Ron, the truth killings. What a steel chair shot that was. There's BT James. Where's Conan in? I don't even see... Wait, there's Conan! There he is! And there's the big size 13! Right into the chest of Eric Young! Right here next to us in the broadcast position. Two members of Three Live Crew in the ring with Kip James. And Conan looks like he's going to sit this one out. Well, he's always been skeptical. He doesn't trust Kip James for a minute. But obviously, brother two killing the BT game, feeling good about this match. But Kip James is a special referee. You see the separation between Conan and the crew and his tag team partners, BG James and Ron the Truth Killings. What's it going to be like tomorrow in Genesis in that six-sided stick fight? Still to come tonight, Jeff Jarrett and AMW battle Lance Hoyt, Chris Saban and Jeff Hardy. But up next, it's AJ Styles and the Styles Clash against Petey Williams and the Canadian Destroyer. The following contest is the Styles Clash versus Canadian Destroyer match. About to make his way to the ring. He's led by Coach Scott Demore. He's the number one contender for the X Division Championship of the World. He is the Canadian Destroyer, Petey Williams. AJ Styles, you're going down tonight and tomorrow night. Das, das, das. And he is the Team Canada captain as well. And he as the number one contender on a recent
recent primetime Spike TV special when he won Ultimate X. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing, he is the current against the Canadian destroyer of Petey Williams. It's a challenge match, and you have to hit your signature move to win the match, and that's the only way you can win it. Well, when you talk about finishing moves and you talk about TNA, you think right away of the Canadian destroyer of Petey Williams. You think of the Styles Clash. This is just a glimpse, just a small glimpse of what you're going to see tomorrow night in Genesis, when the X Division gold is going to be on the line. But tonight, it's not about pinball submissions. It's about who can get the other one in their signature move. This is going to be great. Have you ever seen a move that is more innovative, let's say, than the Canadian Destroyer of P.D. Williams? It's a variation of a pile driver. But the way he hits it with the flip, the impact is just plain sick. I can't figure out how he does it. Every time I see it, it, it seems like an optic. There you go. Wow. He was going to go for it here in the opening minute of the matchup, but A.J. was able to avoid it. And you know what? It starts a lot the same way that the style of Clash does, where they get the head place, how they have to move from there. Oh, what a punch right there by A.J. You know, Don, I have people tell me that they have taped, that they have T-Vode, the optical Canadian illusion. Destroyer, and they sit there and they'll watch it 10 or 15 times, and, and they're, really, they're still not sure how he hits it. Oh, speaking of hitting it, how about that drop kick from A.J.? And I'll tell you what, when you speak of another great finisher like Styles Clash, he gets you so vulnerable to the winning. Oh, come on, Scott Demore interfering. Get this guy out of there. Something that you always have to be prepared for when you face a member of Team Canada, and that's the coach, Scott Demore, at ringside. Just that momentary distraction. Looks like it took AJ out of his game, and Petey Williams on the attack. I'll tell you what, Petey Williams, who at one time had held the long, the X Division belt longer than anybody, of course. Christopher Daniels broke that record, but AJ Styles has held the belt more than anybody else in TNA. I believe you're looking at almost like six times in the X Division champ. The guy's an incredible champion, but Petey Williams wants that belt back. He wants Canada to have it. He wants to have it, and you know Scott Demore wants to have it. In addition to those multiple reigns as X Division champion, Styles is the only Triple Crown winner in TNA history. Yes, also NWA World Heavyweight Champion, NWA World Tag Team Champion as well. And then, oh, the Pele! The move! What a shot! That's another one of those moves that you can never figure out when it's coming. You can watch tape after tape. You don't see it. He hits it out of nowhere. That's the beauty of the move for AJ. And that's the difficulty in trying to prepare a defensive game plan against him. You never know when he's going to come up with the pay light and so many other phenomenal moves. He doesn't have to be looking at you to beat you. Oh, nice. Oh, what a shot right there by AJ Styles. Suplex up, neck breaker down by the X Division champion. What a pay-per-view we have in store for you tomorrow night at Genesis. How about that six-man tag team matchup, Don? The new NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Jarrett, to join forces with AMW DDT by PD Williams against Team 3D and Rhino. Think about it. We, we've been wanting AMW and Team 3D to hook up at a pay-per-view. We want to see another Rhino Jarrett classic because that last one was unreal, and they're all going to be in the ring at the same time. You don't want to miss it tomorrow night. Looked like Williams was going to go for the Destroyer again. It was blocked by AJ. Attempt at the tilt to world but Petey Williams takes him down with a side rushing leg swing. I'll tell you what. Going to reel him in here. He wants that Canadian Destroyer right here. But let me tell you a little bit about Petey Williams. He's a lot more than the Canadian Destroyer. 
Destroyer, and you'll find that out tomorrow night. And if you join us on our Prime Time goes. special, you saw that when he captured the X at the Ultimate X matchup to become the number one contender to earn the shot that he gains tomorrow night at Genesis on pay-per-view elbow up by Styles. Catches the on-rushing Petey Williams that time. Williams thought that he had the foot or knee stop. AJ going to go reverse DDT. Oh, he hits that. I never think he just flies through the air. He's so smooth. He's so efficient. Well, he's just phenomenal. One fluid motion and movement springing off the ropes. Catching P.D. Williams and driving him down to the map with the DDT. Here comes, Here comes Styles Clash. Going to try it at least. Oh, look at him out. Got it. Oh, what a move by P.D. Able to work over to the ropes. Oh, oh look at him. Oh. Oh. Kick out of frustration. Wait, Wait he's got it. Pulls him back. Into the ring. Oh, he hooked the leg of the referee. Andrew Thomas went down. What, where, what's Gamora got? He's got the championship belt. He took it off our table. Somebody watch it with the referee down right there. Oh, wait a minute. Scott Gamora has it. Oh, nice kick man. Gamora. Caught him with the boot. Oh, I'd love to see this. Gamora is walking. AJ got it. No way. Yes. Are you kidding me? Let's put him in the style of class. Right in the head. I think he hit him right in the eye as well with the championship goal. Oh no, he could he get it here? He takes days and he hits it. It's unbelievable how he can hit this man. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Styles Class versus the Canadian Destroyer, Petey Williams. It wasn't about pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match was to hit your signature move, and he just hit the Canadian Destroyer. And Don Vick, if he does that tomorrow at Genesis, he's going to win the X Division Championship. This is our more complex move of the night. Oh, there it is, the Canadian Destroyer. And if you look at that and said to yourself, how does he do it? Well, you're in the majority because only he knows. X Division title at stake tomorrow at Genesis. Canadian Destroyer, Petey Williams in the role of the challenger. Up next on Impact, new NWA champ, Jeff Jarrett, AMW, in six-man tag team action. Between you two here in TNA is absolutely legendary, but you've agreed to meet today peacefully. But well, better be peacefully, because look at Raven, I've got too much responsibility here. I can't walk around looking behind my shoulder day and night. This is, this is over. You bring security guards everywhere you go? Is this peaceful, Zabisco? You know, your ability to maximize inefficiency and squander town is not only reprehensible, it's borderline criminal. Yeah, you know, Zabisco, I think what we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> Wait, you think that's funny? You like jokes? Here's a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Blood. Blood who? Blood gushing out of the scarlet crater of pain where your arm used to be, Zabisco. Is that funny? Yeah, yeah, that's not funny, but I'll tell you something that is funny. You know, I may not be able to fire you, Raven. I'm stuck with you for right now, but I tell you what I can do. I can book you any way I want. I can pick any opponent for you I want. And I can put you through hell to prove to me that you deserve a title shot. And your hell is starting tomorrow at Genesis. Now, if you don't think that's funny, I got another joke for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Raven. Raven who? If you don't got the guts, Raven, all you got to do is sign a release form. And you're free to do whatever you want, to cry to whoever you want, to stalk whoever you want. Just get off of my back, because you're staying here, you're going through hell. Sign this, that's sign it. Sign it. I see you. The biscuit of hell. You're going through hell, Raven.
epic battle on the prime time special, but he got the belt back. But he wouldn't have got it if it wasn't for the help of America's most loyal. Association with the Tag Team Champs AMW, Jared Company, they have all the power, all the control here in TNA, and he just loves it. Introducing their opponent, first of all, from Detroit, Michigan, Chris Saban. Here comes the former X Division champ to the ring. Brought to you by Morphoplast. Like today in Don West, back on Impact on Spike TV, you hear the opening bell. Yes, you have not missed a split second of the action. Great six-man tag team mountain store for you in our Impact main event on the eve of Genesis pay-per-view. I'll tell you what, on one side, you've got three of the most exciting stars in TNA and Saban Hoyt. And of course, the charismatic Enigma Jeff Hardy. On the other side, you've got a lot of gold. Heavyweight champion, you got the tag team champions, and they're gonna be in action tomorrow night on Genesis against former heavyweight champion Rhino and Team 3D. You talk about a three-man team that's gunning for revenge. That's Team 3D and Rhino. How about Chris Saban on the offense and here in the early going, giving his team the advantage. Certainly, Team 3D wants to gain the revenge against AMW and Jarrett for that mock funeral. And you know Rhino is gunning to get Jarrett back in the ring after Jarrett regained the NWA World's title on a five-time special. Lance Hoyt with the clothesline that decked the Wildcat Chris Harris. I'll tell you what, you talk about an up-and-coming young star, and that's this man right here, Lance Hoyt. If he just gets better and better, and he will for a quick pin on the Wildcat. Boy, he sure did. Hit the side slam, hooked both legs, went for the pin attempt. But Harris able to kick out and now turns things over to the new champ and Jerry in vicious right hand. And then the follow up is face first goes Lance Hoyt with that drop box. Oh man, what an elbow that was! Nice elbow. And here comes Jeff Hardy as the crowd goes crazy. This guy right here going to be in an incredible match tomorrow night against the Alpha Male Body Brown. And they are could both contenders. They both feel they should be the next one in line. We'll find out how that works out on Jeff. The quickness of Jeff Hardy so evident, first avoiding the contact with Jarrett, but then he never saw that close line coming as Harris hit him from the apron. I'll tell you something, I feel like this gives Team Jarrett, I'm going to call him tomorrow in advantage, you just think about it, they get to practice working together tonight, and tomorrow night, as they go out there against Team Freedy and Rhino, they might give them a little bit of an edge. Yeah, but Don, they've been together now for several months since the controversy in Canada, when Jarrett defeated Raven to capture the end. NWA World Heavyweight title, and now once again we have to put up with Jarrett and AMW as the power brokers in TNA, as they have all the control, and of course they also have Gail Kim at ringside. Yeah, they do, and she's a wild card, you gotta keep your eye. How about that show of strength right there by the Wildcat, as he just kept Jeff Hardy vertical there for about 15 seconds, and there you see the teamwork of the champions, AMW, Storm coming in and almost gets a pin. Hardy needs to get a tag right here. It was a great double team move the snap mayor into the drop kick storm went to the cover on hardy but no luck shot off into the ropes elbow caught him wow right in the sternum 
Think about this, though. Who's going to have more motivation than Team 3D tomorrow night? After the mock funeral that Jeff Jarrett and AMW performed on Team 3D, embarrassing them, telling them their careers were dead, telling them basically they were dead in the wrestling business. Let me tell you something. They've got a list, and Jarrett and AMW are the last names on it. Yeah, you're right. They do have that list. We saw Team 3D take care of Team Canada on the recent Spike TV primetime special. They were able to check them off the list, but you know that they have in the crosshair AMW and Jarrett fans here at the Impact Zone chanting for Hardy to try and turn this thing around with the double and triple team efforts from Jarrett AMW, when they're keeping him away from his tag team partners, Lance Hoyt and Chris Saban. And a lot of it just has to do with the fact that these three, wait a minute, nice reversal right there. Beautiful move off the top rope by Jeff Hardy. Oh, just the way he climbed up the ropes, connected on both members of AMW, didn't get the tag in yet. Here comes the big Lance from Big D. There is just no substitute for experience, and that's what Jeff Hardy gives you in that ring. And now you got the young, fresh, oh, Lance Hoyt, but he's getting double teamed by AMW. Harrison Storm, shoot him off into the ropes. Look at that power! That's what a 275 pound takeoff Texas can do. What a boot right there. Yeah, the double flapjack for AMW, the big boot for the NWA champ, Jarrett. But now, Harrison Storm, they've got Lance Hoyt fired off into the ropes. They go for the double clothesline. No luck, check out Saban's dual dropkick. What a shot right there. Saban able to get a quick tag on Hoyt. And now he comes in and man are these guys Whoa. working together and both AMWs out. I have to tell you how impressed I've been with Chris Saban, the X Division star Lance Hardy. Oh, Jeff Hardy. Did you see that move from the top? Momentarily losing his footing, but at the same time crashing into AMW Big Lance. Oh, Lance Hoyt though. Comes right afterwards. Saban is the only one that'll get it. Wait a minute. Jared's got the oh, oh, he misses. Could this be a cradle shot? He's got him up. Yeah. Stroke caught off by Saban. A dazed Jarrett caught up in the cradle shock. Gonna spring off the top. Oh, he ends up with the DDT. Yeah, after taking down AMW. Oh, oh, he got it. How close he got it. No, oh, no, oh, just two, but how close can you come? Wow. The former X Division champion, Chris Saban, almost getting the three count on the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Jarrett. Saban's going to fly. Gale came up on the oh, end. Oh, man. Referee, referee, Rudy Charles Sr., NWA official, never saw it. I'll tell you what, he's had other like guitars out there. He's disoriented. No. Oh, no. Not the stroke from the top there. The second no. roll, but he hits it. Middle rope stroke by Jarrett on oh, Saban. No. Going to roll it over the lateral two, cover. Got five. it. The winner for the match, the team of Jeff Jarrett and America's Most Wanted. Oh, they've got momentum on their side as we head into Genesis. AMW and Jarrett gained the victory on impact, and I don't think they're done quite yet. No, they keep trying to make a point. They're trying to let everybody know who's running things around here at TNA. And look at them hand pumping right there. Oh. Is that a guess? It is. It is a toy. And they're beating down Hardy. They're beating down Saban. Gail Kim was the X Factor again, and he was able to interfere. Yeah, the signature handcuffs of America's Most Wanted have Big Lance in trouble, and now they've got Hardy. No. And they're holding Hardy. AMW's got him in their grasp, and Jarrett's got the guitar. This is just not. That. Wait a minute. Genesis on pay-per-view!